action. Okay. So Cheyenne, how is it going your first week as a total cyclist wellness coach? It's going awesome. I love uh, Taylor. She's probably the perfect first client. That yeah. I could have had. Yeah. I was pretty excited about it too. Okay. So Taylor, just a little background. Taylor is in her twenties. She is a barber. She likes lifting weights and she just wants to get healthy through lifestyle. She wants to lose some weight, um, become more active. And she also is trying to get her IBS under control. She has this, what does she call it? Her baby belly or something? Yeah. She calls it, um, like her food baby. I don't even know. So it grows throughout the day. So basically, um, we've got her, like everyone else, um, sending photos of any activity. She's doing her reflections um, and then sending photos of her food. So this is kind of like a Reader's Digest version, I would say, of her first week, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and so... Also, you know, she seems to be sleeping well, right? Yeah, she always says she got a good night's sleep. She never complains about that. Okay, cool. So basically, we have all these pieces of the puzzle. And what I always like to start with Mm -hmm. as a coach is what's going to give them the most bang for their buck. Now, Mm -hmm. that doesn't have to be a nutrition thing or exercise or sleep or whatever. It just has to be a progression. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we need to, you know, we have a pretty good understanding of her life. Mm-hmm. Right? So where as a coach, and there's no right answer. Okay. Um, where as a coach, do you, whoops, do you want to start spending time progressing her? Um, honestly, <clears throat> I do want to say her, I'm looking at all of her pictures right now on the screen, so it's kind of given me some ideas. Yeah. Um, I do want to say just progressing her on some education, um, kind of on what she puts in her body. Right. So uh, whether or not that, like, I'm not saying start on, like, her nutrition, but I'm saying start on the education, if that makes sense. Right. And, and that's a really good point. And I, I really like one the education part because it empowers them because, you know, we only work with them for maybe six months. Um, and so to give them the why <laughs> and help them make those decisions, empower people to make those decisions for the rest of their life. And I really like that you're starting with nutrition because she eats multiple times a day. Mm-hmm. She eats, um, and she has room to improve. Um, so I really like that you're doing that and, you know, it's easy to eat, um, the amount of calories she burned, let's say on this two and a half mile hike, Mm -hmm. you can eat the calories burned in like less than two minutes. Right. Yes. So I always like to start with teaching people how to fuel their body at like sedentary. Okay. Um, now we see the diet Coke and we see the gum and we see the processed sugars and we're like, ah, no wonder you have IBS, right? Mm -hmm. But where I like to start, so this is where we look at the personality. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we have a super timid, um, or like most, most people, not even necessarily timid, but, but, um, kind of like not super aggressive person. I like to start with adding things always. Okay. And that's really counterintuitive, Mm -hmm. but what happens is I don't, I hardly ever have anyone count calories and I like to teach to most people. Like if you look at her, she's missing a lot of things. And what happens is her cerebellum her like primitive brain is looking for them in the diet coke in the gum in the cake at 10 p.m this is 10 p.m cake by the way (laughs) Uh, and so the first thing i like to do with most people um if i choose to look at nutrition first Mm -hmm. is figure out what they're lacking and what will happen is is if we put in what they're lacking the garbage falls by the wayside 
And then they're educated and they don't feel deprived because we don't ever want her to feel deprived because that creates anxiety. And then if she does do something to make herself not feel deprived, she'll hide it from us. And that's a really bad feeling. So we want to start with nourishing her body. Okay. okay. Is that kind of where you're thinking of going? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I know you're vegan. And Taylor may end up doing really well being vegan, but she may not. But let's start with, you know, we don't know what Taylor's best fuel is yet. Right. But let's start with what you, what do you think she's missing? Well, she's got, sorry, I'm, not, I'm looking at all this. Um, okay. uh, let's look at her breakfast here. Let's start there. Okay. So she's got oats and I'm, I'm, this is me coming from. This is a plant-based. This is a rice cake, right? Is that a rice? I thought she had oatmeal that day. Oh, maybe. So most days that she's having, well, some oh, sort of cake. Oh, no, that is a rice cake. That is. So she's that having her grain, peanut butter, and blueberries for most days. So she's missing some protein from that. She's missing... I mean, again, I'm thinking plant-based, so I'm thinking she would need, um, she can get it from her other meals from out the day, some iron, B12, uh, but she's got peanut butter on that. I think that's what she put on that. Yeah. Yeah. Crun oh, crunchy peanut butter. So she did have some protein. She had some fats in there. She had blueberries. Are you hearing that dinging? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so what are some sources? And, and she's, she's pretty time crunched in the morning. Clearly that's not like a, a big, a big to do as far as preparation goes. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think some quick, easy proteins and they can be, they don't have to be plant-based, right? Cause we want to go to her with options. Absolutely. So what would be some options? Um, in the mornings, because uh, we're thinking breakfast, she could do eggs. That would be fantastic. Um, <clears throat> if she's looking for something easy, a uh, smoothie with some protein powder. She said that she used the, the Vega brand protein. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's definitely options. Good. Um, and then let's, so her lunches, what have her lunches been like? Um, I'm trying to decipher what's what. Okay. So her lunch, she has like the corn, the middle on the right side, the kale. Um, it was like that salad, her lunch catered. I mean, her work catered. Okay. Um, she's been doing, I'm going to pull up some photos as well. Yeah. There's more. And you I can have, just hold them up to the screen. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our Taylor's Dream Team okay. uh, group chat here. All right. So, okay. So for lunch one day, she had a turkey patty. Um, it was a dinner that she had made the night before that she had some leftovers turkey patty, uh, boiled green beans, and I forget, it was like squash and zucchini. Um, it cooked in all olive oil and stuff. And then again, that's her dinner she had the night before. <laughs> um, and then her lunch another day she had, um, I thought that at first was a salad, but it looks, but she said that she just ate most of the chicken with some side of lettuce. Okay. Um, and some fries and ranch. Right. So the fries and ranch are her. She's looking for stuff, stuff that she doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Like she's looking for nutrition. Right. She's short on something. If she's nourished, those fries won't be an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as again, as vegan, as plant-based, I know potatoes are something that I've eaten when I don't, get the full meal because it fills me up. Right. Which so is something. She's hungry. Yes. So we need to make her less hungry. So that's a great, a great observation. So mm -hmm. she's hungry, especially like when you're seeing stuff like this, 
I mean, that's a big meal. Um, she had seconds that night. Yeah, and cake, 10 p.m. cake. She's not getting enough calories, okay? And I don't want to teach her to count calories, but you and I know that she's not getting enough, which, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, that's a wimpy breakfast, you know? Um, especially she's on her feet all day. Yeah, and then after sleeping and not eating for that, she sleeps quite a bit. At yeah, night. like look at this, this four shrimp and some kale. That's not enough food. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, so yeah, so let's increase protein. So why don't we set a goal for her? Um, every time she eats, she has to have X amount of protein. Okay. Um, and then also another thing, usually when people aren't nourished, they're not eating enough healthy fats. Mm-hmm. So I think too, if we make a thing where like, okay, uh, like having a certain amount of healthy fat before noon, I think would set her up for a good rest of the day. Okay. You know, if you, if you provide all your vitamins before noon, then in the afternoon and evening when you're tired, you don't have tired and malnourished coming in. Mm -hmm. Right. You just have tired. Okay. Um, so why don't we start there? Okay. Um, now here's something that when I see someone who's sick, okay, Mm -hmm. with the food baby. So she also has, um, a hormonal imbalance. Remember she has polycystic ovarian. Right. Right. Um, but I think we can work with that. Oh, what we might want to do is we might want to do some seed cycling with her. Are you familiar with that? Explain it to me. So seed cycling is where you use different seeds at different parts of a woman's cycle to yeah. balance hormones. And the Reader's Digest version is, um, so let's say it's a four-week cycle. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first two weeks, okay, that's called the first half of the cycle, and you would do um, flax and pumpkin seeds, okay? okay? One tablespoon of each. Put in a coffee grinder, zzz, zzz, and that grinds it up so you absorb it better. Right. And that helps that low hormone phase. And then the second half of the cycle is the S's, sesame and sunflower. Same okay. thing. Put it in a coffee grinder, zzz, zzz, tablespoon of each. So those will be healthy fats for her and it will help treat this. Yes. Okay. So I would say let's, let's definitely start with um, nine grams of protein every time she eats. Okay. So you want to do like 15. The more we make it, the more of the fluff will fall by the wayside. Yeah. Um, I'm just worried if 15 grams is going to be too much for her to just start off with. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be one scoop of the Vega is 20. Yeah. How yeah. do we make it? To, should we, like, 12? Yeah. Because I just don't think nine is going to be enough to, like, push out the cake. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Actually, yeah, 15. Let's do 15. Let's shoot for 15, and at least we know if she's falling at, like, 12, 13, then we're fine with that, too. Okay, so let's go for 15 every time she eats, um, and okay. then and you can provide her a list of those things, okay? Mm-hmm. And some of them can be vegan, and some of them can be, you know, egg whites, proteins, um, like animal stuff. Right. Um, and then let's start her on the seed cycling, because that's going to be two-pronged. One, that'll be healthy fats, and mm-hmm. two, that'll help with uh, any, like, severe hormone swings. I think this coming week, she said she was going to be on her cycle, Okay. Um, on her period. So that's perfect. So then you can, so day one starts as soon as the period finishes. Right. So as soon as she stops menstruating that, then you start with the pumpkin and the flax. Yes. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I'm writing all this down. <laughs> no, please do. And it's recorded. So that's good. Okay. Um, do you have any urge to make her want to, like, do you have any urge to make her start exercising a ton or no? Um, no. Okay. And why? 
so not huge urge right now. Um, I think we definitely need to work on her nutrition and diet before absolutely anything, but she's not, she's sedentary, but she's not just sitting down at a cubicle all day. Yeah. She's not at a desk job, which is great. Yeah. And she, I mean, she enjoys hiking and stuff and I'll definitely want to tell her and encourage her more like, Hey, maybe go for a walk with your dog for half an hour when you get off work, but okay. nothing necessarily exercise, exercise. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Unless you feel otherwise, which I'm open for that. No, no, I think it's good. Um, and also too, um, when you are talking about adding the proteins, you know, breakfast is just a time of day. Breakfast doesn't only mean like eggs or smoothie. If she wants to add salmon in there or, you know, a chicken breast or, you know, some, some tempeh, whatever. Like the only, ooh, let's talk about soy with her. As yes, someone with polycystic ovarian syndrome, mm -hmm. let's stay away from soy. And that's my next question and thought for you. Same with uh, dairy and yeah. even, I mean, I don't know if you want to go as far as to say even something like a chicken breast. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I, I mean, I haven't done as much research, research as I should, which I will do after we talk. Uh -huh. um, but I do know that hormones are prevalent, especially in that area of the chicken and then in dairy. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, well, so here, here's what we do. I, again, we don't want to cut out more than we need, especially right away. So let's start because we don't want her to feel deprived and like, oh, I can't live. How am I supposed to go out to eat with my friends? So let's start small. Okay. Okay. And if those, cause who knows, she may be able to eat chicken just fine and not have any issues. Yeah. You know, it could be the aspartame that's causing the issues. It could be you know, the sugar, mm -hmm. she may be fine on chicken. She may be able to eat plenty of cheese. So yeah. let's not take those away yet. Okay. If we do the seed cycling, if we do the healthy fats, um, if we're doing the proteins and she's still having issues, then let's start to look at dairy and at chicken. Sure. Okay. Making, um, I like to call them progressions. I don't even like to call them changes. Yeah. It's nice. Gets them excited. So. Okay, sounds time right now. It's down still. Oh, uh, what about a hydration goal? Okay, so that's something I was noticing about her too. She's very good with drinking, but I do want to set a goal for her so that she isn't just aimlessly drinking water. <laughs> okay. So what do you think would be appropriate for her? Um, how much does she weigh? She's at, I think, just over 170. Okay. Oh, and her goal was to get to, like, 140 or something. Um, 64 ounces. Okay. A day. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Just okay. the typical eight, because we don't want to dilute her. And then we'll know if she's diluted, because she'll start craving salty things. Okay. We'll see. We'll start to see more cheeses and mm -hmm. chips and sweets and stuff. Those will pop up. Yeah. Those are signs of uh, electrolyte imbalance. So. Look out. Yeah, but she has been very good about, she hasn't been someone that's like only drinking Diet Coke all day. Right. No, she does well with that. Oh, also, um, have her measure. The people really slip up here. Have her measure with her coffee get out a measuring spoon and measure her creamer and measure her sugar. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Um, and then again, when you are, when you are doing all of this, you want it to be as pain free as possible. Right. Okay. You don't want them to perceive, um, withdraw or being excommunicated or having to like, use willpower and self-esteem it's like no no we're we're just treating your body the way it deserves to be treated mm -hmm. okay so, um and fueling it for what she wants it to be able to do right and to feel better right um, 
So along those lines, do we, do you think now is a good time to introduce changing up the amount of sugar and what kind of sugar she puts in her body? So I don't think so yet, because I think when we start to give her body what it needs, that's going to fall out on its own. So instead of us being the bad guys and saying, none of this, none of that, you just pump them full of goodness and that stuff falls away. I had one athlete, do you know what honey stinger waffles are? Yeah. So he would take two honey stinger waffles and he would put peanut butter and jelly on them and eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> and I, you know, if you say no more honey stinger peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, they are sad, they feel deprived. Rocket says I can't eat that. <laughs> So what I did, as I said, you can have as many of those as you want, but I want you to eat four servings of fruit each day. And so then, he, instead of having two or three of those peanut butter jelly honey stingers, he would have one. Okay. So then I bumped it up to seven servings of fruit a day. Now, granted, he was training for um, six days of over seven hours a day on a bike, so he was eating time. But anyway, so we bumped it up to seven servings of fruit a day, mm -hmm. and the honey stinger, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches vanished. And yeah. I never had to say, cut that out. He mm -hmm. never felt deprived. There was just no more room. Yeah. Just okay. to eat it. Right. And so instead of him sitting there feeling sad or being at a dinner party, watching everyone eating cake and being like, oh, I wish I had cake. He is like, I, I cannot eat anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. And we will use that approach um, in different facets, okay? okay. Um, sometimes we'll keep them just a little tired so they don't go exercise themselves to the point of not being able to move for days. Right? Mm -hmm. I do that with a lot of people. A lot of, like, people, they want to – they do nothing all week and then they want to go hike for four hours and then they can't move for days. So instead I just keep them a little tired all week. So when they do get to that four hour time period, they don't have that. I need to go. Same thing with food. If you keep them nourished and keep them satisfied when they do get in those situations, they're not like, you yeah. know, yeah. yeah. Breaking down the walls. Yeah. 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 And then we'll use, we'll use lots of little tricks like that. Another one, um, with alcohol, mm -hmm. um, if someone's going to party or whatever, have them drink straight liquor, no ice, mm -hmm. no mixer. Guess what? <laughs> they don't want to drink the straight liquor. <laughs> I had one guy after one day, he's like, I can't drink any more gin. Oh, and I don't let him mix. I don't let it be gin today, tequila tomorrow. No. You <laughs> <laughs> if you have a boys weekend, you pick what you want and you stick with that the whole weekend because the less variety, the more satiety. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so that's a good trick. And literally the guy drank, he drank way too much the first day and then he didn't drink for the rest of the six days. Good for that. Good for him. He was like, can I switch to bourbon? I'm like, no, have more gin, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me how you feel. I'm like, you have all the gin you want. And he's like, oh, gin makes me, just the idea is no good. I'm like, oh, so you don't want it because you can have it. <laughs> so always find ways to not have to say no or not deprive them. Okay, definitely. All right. Um, let's go ahead and start this with her. This will be a phone call that you have with her. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Um, do you want to be in that or do you not need to be? Yeah, I'll be in it. Okay. I'll, I'll just kind of eavesdrop and just kind of jump in where I need. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Um, do you, are you guys meeting this week still? Yeah, so we're supposed to meet tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon to do measurements and before and after. Okay, should I just call her when you guys are together? Would that be? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Would you mind texting me when? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. She she said she I think it's in the middle of the day she has an opening. Oh look, I think so. I think it's like two thirty or something for you. Okay. Um yeah, it's around two thirty. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. All right, cool. Any questions about any of this? Uh, no, I think she's progressing well and I'm excited to go and see what, she, what we can do next. Yeah, she's going to be so fun. Oh my gosh, she is. She's already fun. Yeah. I like her as a person, which is, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the personalities, that's, that's one thing where it's like, you know, some personalities I just can't help because we don't, we don't jive. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's great to have you on board and you guys can, you know, you're in the same decade of life and <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Good. Cool. Um, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, I think that's good. Okay, sweet. Right. Well, um, I emailed Amanda. Yeah, Amanda and, and Chad too, right? Yep. Okay. So all's good. All right, sounds good. Well, you have a good night and let me know if you need anything. Yes, you too. Thank okay. you. Bye.